actually think a lot of people underestimate me. I don't want to show you too much, guys. I'm here with Fred hey. now. It's not exactly Florida, is it? Anyone else just hate parking? Big lump of heavy metal that could definitely take someone out, and it's my responsibility. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning, I got up this morning and sorted out my car insurance because if you didn't see last week's vlog, I got a new car. I absolutely love it. I haven't actually driven it yet though because I've only just sorted out my insurance. My dad did the test drive when we went to view the car because he knows more about cars anyway, like I don't know if it feels good, like the suspension and all that, but he does. So he test drove the car for me and drove it home. I've sorted out my insurance this morning, which I was really nervous about doing because I just don't understand insurance. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. There are so many posh words that I don't get, but I did it. I'm all sorted. I'm insured now so I can officially take the car out this afternoon for the first time and I'm so excited. It's a good Monday morning so far. Little adult jobs like that terrify me, but I've done it. I don't want to show you too much guys because nothing's confirmed yet, but I've just had some samples for the next Candid launch and all I'll say is I'm very excited about it and it's gonna be so so cute. Where's my very good puppy? Oh you want a tummy rub? You've been asleep for like an hour and a half. What a little angel. Should we go and have a cuddle? <laughs> Look at the eyes open. Look at those mucky paws. Give me love, give I'm gonna wash your feet. Love. Oh, cause I want you. We don't want muddy feet all day, do we? That can't be comfy, all crispy feet. Ugh. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand. Please. Could you hold my hand? Please. Look me in back the once. eyes. Good girl, lifting your legs up. You're so cute. I just drove my car for the very first time and it actually wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. I'm currently sat in the back of it now in Asda car park because my mum's just run in. I've just taken Sunny for a little walk. She's in here now and now we're waiting for her. Like sitting in the back here, it kind of feels like my dad's car. Like it's quite, it is quite, I don't know, it's hard because it's not big, but it's a lot bigger than my Fiat was. At least it feels it. It feels so much higher, it feels more grown up. But I enjoyed driving it and I reverse parked for the very first time ever. I never reverse park because I'm so bad at it. Anyone else just hate parking. Reverse parking, parallel parking. If I can't pull in forwards to a parking space, I don't want to go. On today's episode of Things Hannah's Bought on Amazon, I got this wire to keep in my car. This is to charge my phone, so it's just like a USB. I got the... um braided one you know like instead of the white wire because i thought it'd be more durable and it actually matches my seats the other thing i got is this gel cleaning dust apparently i saw this on tiktok first of all but it's literally a pot of slime that you use to clean oh god that's definitely going to melt in the sun isn't it then it's going to go gross i was going to keep it in my car but that's probably not the best idea because it is hot in here you see like where it gets all dusty it is quite satisfying i'll give it that i mean me and my dad literally spent the entire day yesterday our whole sunday afternoon just cleaning the car so it's now like perfect oh my god how satisfying is that when it goes in the vents this blob of slime was like nine pounds not gonna lie i don't think i'd buy it again but it does do the job gets all like the little bits off that are really annoying you can put the slime in your drinks compartments it's actually good you know it's growing on me hello good afternoon today is wednesday got an exciting update since i last vlogged so sold my old car little flora she's gone well she's not gone yet but a family friend came round yesterday to have a look at it with his daughter it's gonna be her first car she's not learned to drive yet but she's really excited too her name's ruby she's such a lovely girl so they're gonna have flora they live so close to us so flora's gonna stay close i'll still see her out and about bittersweet because obviously i needed to sell flora i wasn't looking forward to it i have to say i love her um anyway this morning i filmed a car tour for my new car which is yet to be named and i've just got back Back and it's now lunchtime, so Sunny's just oh, she's just finished her lunch, she's down there now, and I'm about to make some lunch for myself. I think I'm gonna have a pasta, I'm quite hungry. Um, because I only had one bagel for breakfast and it was quite a while ago now. I'm going for an easy spinach and ricotta tortellini with some tomato and mascarpone sauce. The best combo. I'm also so addicted to eating these. Not gonna lie, I've already got through one box of them. They're so cute and small. Mmm. I actually think a lot of people underestimate me. One, the pasta outfit. 
genius. This white bodysuit is staying safe today. We've gone for the tea towel trick. Two, tell me that wouldn't be served up in a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. She's a chef, what can I say? Just because I choose to work smart and not hard and buy the pasta from a packet doesn't mean I haven't got it all going on up here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and enjoy my pasta now with my pasta outfit on. Say cheese. Jeez. Okay, so I've finished all my work for the day. Well, some of it. I'll still do some this evening. I've got some editing to do. I'm going to edit some of the car tour. But mum's finished her work for the day. So it's now half past three and we've decided to come down to South End. Mum's currently driving my car for the first time. Yeah, I get to drive it. Yeah, she was excited to test it out. Do you like it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, she said it feels really smooth. Oh, oh. So I hate when we go through tight gaps in it still because it feels so much bigger than Flora. So yeah, we're coming down to South End. We're gonna see if anywhere's open for a coffee outside. I'm sure there will be, but it might be busy because it is a nice day today. Sunny's in the back with us. She's probably having a nap. Isn't it weird that when we put her in the car, she doesn't know whether she's gonna be in the car for five minutes or like an hour. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Especially after we went all the way to Eastbourne with her. She must get in the car now and think, God, am I gonna be in this for three hours? Or is it gonna be five minutes to the park? I th don't think dog thinking time. No, maybe not. How much do you reckon these houses are here along the front? They're like right on the seafront. Do you reckon the flats are over a million or not? No, they won't be over a million. It's only South End, isn't it? Well, yeah, I know it's only South End, but they've still got a sea view. Like those ones, what do you reckon they are? I reckon they're, I reckon they're probably 800,000. Look at their view. Look, it's not Marbella, is it? It's South End. <laughs> That is true, yeah. Oh look, what? that's not Rossi's, is it? No, Rossi's been taken over, hasn't it? Has it? Yeah, why didn't you know that? Rossi's ice cream is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Just realised as we drive a bit further down that Rossi's is actually still there and it wasn't the same building. <laughs> but it has been, it's definitely been taken over. Well, it's sure. still called Rossi's. Well, at least Rossi's is still there. If anyone's watching this from South End, don't panic. Rossi's is still there. It probably cause drama everywhere now. I know, it probably will be on the South End Facebook page soon that Rossi's <laughs> is down. <laughs> The palm trees in South End aren't looking too healthy, are they? What's that saying about polishing a turd? <laughs> That's what it's like putting palm trees in South End. Is that what it is, polishing a turd? <laughs> it's not exactly Florida, is it? Wow, Sunny. She loves the beach. It's one of her favorite places because she loves digging. And she's allowed to dig at the beach. Look at the tiny paw prints. Aww. between the sun morning it is now thursday it's actually the afternoon now just about today is a very exciting day because one of our best friends fred is coming over i haven't seen fred for over a year but he's going to come around this afternoon it's a really lovely day we're going to sit out in the garden i'm going to provide some chicken and chips keeping it very cash i'm no dinner host just yet i've been working this morning so that i can keep this afternoon free i don't want to be stressing about any work i just want to be able to chill with fred and I have a good old natter. So that's exactly what the plan is today. I actually really like today's outfit. Let me show you. It's nice and sunny, but it is a bit chilly. So I've just got this sweatshirt on. This is just from eBay. It's a Gildan sweatshirt. I think it's men's or unisex. I'm not sure. I just buy them oversized. I've rolled the sleeves up because it's not freezing, but the wind is a bit chilly. My jeans are from Asda. Georgia Asda. Love that for me. And I can't remember where this belt was from. Probably ASOS. So <laughs> guys, I'm here with Fred hey. now. Here he is. We've just been cracking up at this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it, Fred? Tell him. So, this poor lady <laughs> has just <laughs> obviously been on the good old Facebook market page <laughs> and brought a chest of drawers and she collects it, trips and completely <laughs> squats it. Oh thing. my god, we've just been cracking up. Oh, oh how funny if I could put that video that in. So I will funny. try my best. Are you okay? So funny, but it's so nice to catch up with you. Yes, Fred. finally. We've just had a little it's bit been of food. Too long, hasn't it? <laughs> I provided some really, um, really nice food. Gordon Ramsay, <laughs> eat your heart out. Chicken chips and coleslaw. What more could you ask? In your stomach. But this is actually the first time Fred's met Sunny as well. Hello. She's down here. Hello, Sunny. Are you best friends? She likes me now. She's yeah, she bit, does. She was a bit scared at first, yeah, but... Well, that's what everyone's reaction is when you first meet me. <laughs> Always a bit scared of you. Bit... Sunny, who's this? Oh, oh, look. Fred's so not a dog person either. 
Look at her on her back. She's like, oh, that's lovely, Fred. Thank you. She is cute. She's so cute. She doesn't smell, which is on one I know, yeah. Fred likes her because she's clean. <laughs> I'm balancing you on a photo frame that is definitely not stable. But hello, it is Friday. I am addicted to eating these cookies. I'm gonna show you the empty packet, I'm not ashamed. I have only had two of them to be fair, but these are from Asda. They're Belgian white chocolate, blueberry and raspberry cookies. They are so good. Um, anyway, yesterday with Fred was so lovely. He was here for like four and a half hours in the end, just having a big old catch up. I think I might be seeing him next week as well, so that will be nice. I've got a few little plans lining up next week. It's kind of nice to like ease myself back into socialization. I know so many people like, rightly so went back into socializing all guns blazing i wish i could have done that so many people were at the pub the first day it opened seeing their friends every day i just couldn't bring myself to do that but i have started seeing more friends in the garden every now and again and it's so lovely i've really forgotten how much i've missed seeing people i kind of got very used to lockdown life and i didn't hate it to be honest but now that i'm seeing people and the weather's better i definitely want to get out more i'm also seeing all my best girlfriends tomorrow evening gonna head over to my friend Molly's and we're gonna have a takeaway together. This afternoon I'm also going for a walk with two of my aunties so look at me go seeing everyone the world and their mum. No I'm joking I definitely haven't rushed back into seeing people and if you feel the same that is fine whether you saw people as soon as you could or whether you still don't feel quite ready to socialise. None of us have ever been through a pandemic before so how are we meant to know how to cope? Whatever you're doing is just fine public service announcement if you haven't got one of these hoodies you need to get one so you know those ones called udi they're like 70 pounds i think they're a lot more expensive i think they were the first people to create these it's basically a blanket that you wear but i got mine on amazon it's called the comfy and it was 38 pounds obviously went for the pink one but i'm so excited to take this to my friend's house tomorrow night and i've worn it every single day since it arrived look at the inside of it you can also wear it inside out so if you've just shaved how nice and silky would that feel but i like wearing it the fleecy side it is so warm i'd highly recommend i'll leave a link in the description to the one that i bought because i cannot fault it i really need to tidy my office and sort out my po box stuff i've filmed an instagram haul i think i might upload it in a second actually but now i never know where to put the stuff i've got this box this is everything that i'm keeping that doesn't yet have a place but i definitely need to sort this office out because it's making me feel stressed another recent addition to my life is a drone so this is actually my my brother's he's just letting me borrow it i really wanted to test it out and get some cool drone shots and stuff but i have no idea how to use it i've never flown a drone before i think i have to do a test online before i'm allowed to use it so i will do that because i don't want to be doing anything illegal you know i'm here to make the weekly vlogs not to get a criminal record i thought i'd be really excited to try it out but when i look at that that terrifies me. In my mind, I kind of thought, ha, yeah, drone, pretty shots, sunsets, all that. Now it's here, big lump of heavy metal that could definitely take someone out. And it's my responsibility. So I need to learn how to use this properly. Hopefully one day the weekly vlogs will have some lovely drone shots. I'm thinking by the river, in the dog park, some close-ups of me and Sunny having a walk, picnics maybe. I'd love to like circle it around me and my friends if we're having a takeaway together. But reality is... Not a clue how to get this off the ground. It's a DJI Mavic Pro. Mavic? Mavic? I'm not sure I'm going to be cut out for this drone life, you know. Wish me luck. I've been meaning to show you guys this for a few weeks now. But my lovely friend Gabby, I'm sure a lot of you guys know her, recently launched a necklace collab with the lovely team over at Anna Luisa. And they sent me the necklace and it's so cute. If you know Gabby, you know she loves the sound of music. So this necklace is inspired by the film. On one side it's got the mountains and a little gem. And the other side has a little flower. This little pouch as well. She's soft, she's bougie. Thank you to Gabby and the team for very kindly sending it over. I'm usually a silver jewelry kind of gal, but I actually feel like a lot of the tones I'm wearing at the minute, my outfits are very like warm tone, like beiges, neutrals, and I feel like gold probably goes better with that. So I would definitely be wearing this necklace. I think it is adorable. And congrats on the collab, Gabby. Smashing it as always. Those
Good morning. I'm not gonna lie guys, the top of my head is sunburnt from yesterday. It actually hurts to brush my head. Madness, the weather's been so nice here. It's very cold, but it's really nice and sunny. Oh, my camera battery is flashing, are you joking? Right, I'm back with a new battery. I look very pale in the viewfinder, but I thought I'd show you my little skincare routine for the morning. I'm going to my friend Molly's this evening, so I want my makeup to last all day. Cause I'm not about to do my makeup twice in one day. I'm really not. So the first thing I did was wash my face with this Too Faced hangover. Over, wash the day away at facial cleanser so I feel all nice and clean now sometimes instead of a normal cleanser I'll use like more of an exfoliating one but I used that yesterday and I don't want to use it every single day so just a standard face wash first of all then I use a little bit of this from Paula's Choice it's the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant I used to use this all over my face but I've booked to get my eyebrows microbladed on the 1st of May I think it is and you can't use this around your eyebrows for six weeks prior to microblading. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But I asked the girl I've booked with and she said it's fine to use it around my nose. So I've just carried on using it for like my pores on my cheeks and around my nose obviously. But I'm excited to get my eyebrows microbladed. I'll obviously bring you along on the journey. The next thing I'm going to use is a bit of eye cream. So this is my favourite one at the minute. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Magic Eye Rescue. It feels really soothing under your eyes. I couldn't not use an eye cream because as you can probably tell I have the worst under eye circles. I think it's just a genetic thing. I mean I'm always tired as well <laughs> so that really doesn't help but I do think it's more likely to be genetic because everything I've tried to get rid of my dark circles does not work if you've got any tips please let a girl know as for moisturizer I'm going to use this one today because it's a really nice day outside and I'm going to be outside for a lot of the day so it's from the body shop it's the vitamin e moisture protect emulsion it's spf 30 it's particularly important to use an spf if you use that 2% bha exfoliant one of you guys told me that, so thank you very much if that was you. I'm really excited to do my makeup today. Some days I'm so over wearing makeup and other days I'm like really buzzing to do it. I always watch true crime videos while I do my makeup, particularly Ellen and Neil or Kendall Ray. And the last product that I use is Glossier's Future Juice Serum. This is a holy grail product for the summer. It honestly makes you look so summery, really glowy and just really healthy. I finished an entire bottle of this serum last year. This is my second one and I'm almost at the end of this bottle as well. That's how much I love it. At this point, sometimes I'll use my gua sha. Shall I do it today? Maybe I will. I'm still learning about it. Oh my God, that reminds me. I saw this TikTok the other day and I tried it and it works and it's disgusting. So I'm gonna tell you about it. Basically, if you get your fingers and you push from underneath your earlobes down your neck, you can use a gua sha instead. Apparently it's more effective but just your fingers works fine. So I did this maybe like six, seven, eight, ten times, whatever, but you've got to use a little bit of pressure and go down from your earlobes, down your neck, and then when you swallow, oh, oh my God, it's disgusting. You could literally feel like the gunk from your sinuses going down your throat. It is disgusting. I did it a few times and by the last time there was nothing because I guess I'd cleared my sinuses more. Oh, it's so gross, but it's really satisfying. <laughs> routine this morning i'm now gonna get cracking with my makeup i'll do a time lapse because i'm gonna watch some kendall ray but if you've got any questions about my skincare routine or my makeup routine let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to answer them for you not that i'm an expert in any of the above but you know you girls willing to try what's it like to be the one that he turns to when he started answers what's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance myself a little bag to take to my friend Molly's later because it's warm outside now actually it's not it's sunny but it's a little bit chilly already and I'm not going over until five and we'll probably be there for quite a while I don't deal with the cold well so not only do I need to take my sunnies but I also need to take big socks a fleece a scarf the big comfy is coming with me as well we're gonna get a takeaway I'm not sure what kind of food we're gonna have yet but I'm gonna take some snacks to provide as well and we always take our own drinks as well 
just so the host doesn't have to provide drinks for everyone. But I'm just going to put it in this big old bag from, I think it's from H&M. It's actually very handy though because it's got this zip compartment in the middle. If this one shot doesn't summarise British lockdown summer evenings, I don't know what does. I'm looking a bit windswept and worse for wear now. And I've got about 20 minutes till I'm going to my friend's house. So guys, I hope you don't mind but I am going to cut the weekly vlog here. I'm not going to vlog with my friends tonight because I know I'm going to forget and then I'm going to forget to end the vlog. And I want this video to be up on time Sunday morning. Wish me luck for editing this when I get home from my friends tonight. It's probably going to be a late one. But anyway, my loves, thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that not much happened, but I hope you enjoyed seeing Fred. I've got a few more plans for next week, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more exciting. Let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that happened to you this week. I genuinely love to hear what you guys have been up to. Do subscribe to see my future videos. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week, and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.